Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, I'm Liz and I post all things DIY and home decor related. And today's video, I'm so excited to share with you. I've never done this video on my channel. Today, I'm doing a Dollar Tree office organization. If you guys follow me on Facebook, and if you're not, you should, because I post so many like projects, behind the scenes stuff. I told you guys about this office that I put together really inexpensively. And if you'd like to see an office tour, leave me a comment below and I'll do a video on that. But I needed some decor and organization to put on my desk. So that is what we're doing today. So this first thing, when I walked into Dollar Tree, I was looking for office stuff and I found this and I was like, this cannot be a Dollar Tree. So what I found was this big dry erase calendar and this thing is pretty big. It was rolled up and it comes with the calendar. It also comes with a dry erase marker and a set of stickers, all for a dollar. So I thought this was so cool just the way it was. So I didn't really have any wall decor yet. So I thought this would be great and I could put in events and I like seeing the whole year. So what I did was just use some command strips that I had on hand and put it in the four corners, taped it up. And then I also attached the dry erase marker to the front and you can add in the stickers to know holidays and events. And I thought for a dollar, this was awesome. So the next thing I wanted to make were some magnet boards. That way I could hang up post-it notes and just little notes to myself or pictures or just kind of fun decor. So I picked up two pizza pans from Dollar Tree because they are magnetic and they have a cool circle shape. And I just spray painted them with two coats of a Rust-Oleum metallic spray paint. On one of the pans, I added in this cute little girl boss sticker that I thought was adorable and would be perfect for this project. I took the sticker off and put it on at the top where I thought it would be cute. And I then attached them to my wall with some command strips. I used some magnets that I already had on hand to put up my pictures and notes. And these are my favorite magnets. I'll link them down in the description box because they are really cool magnets. Not only was I excited about that really cool calendar, but I also found these pink file folder boxes in this like leopard print that I thought was adorable. They also had like a floral print. I thought these were great. They're kind of like a cardboard material. So the only thing I did with these is I took them out and I set them up just the way they are. And then I added some labels to the front. And these labels obviously were from the Dollar Trees. I wrote on these labels, notebooks and planners, and just attached these to the front. To kind of hold them in place better, I used a binder clip at the top to hold them in place, and then I just placed in my planner and notebook. I needed something to hold my pins out of my desk, but I wanted something a little bit different. So I picked up three black cups and then I also picked up this canvas from Dollar Tree. So with the three black cups, I just painted them with two coats of that same metallic color by Rust-Oleum. Now for the bottom piece, I wanted it to be kind of framing out my cups. So I took off the canvas and usually these are like really easy to take off, but for some reason I had to like work to get this off. I don't know what was going on, but I just took the staples out, removed the canvas piece, and then I also cut off the backing piece. So it was just a nice rectangle. I wanted it to look a little distressed, but I wanted to see some of that wood coming through. I already established the colors I was using was gonna be blacks and golds and a little bit of pink. So I came in with a little bit of black acrylic paint, wiped it on with a brush, and then I took a rag and just kind of smeared it in place. That way you could still see that black, but you weren't gonna see my brush strokes, and you could see some of that wood coming through. Thank you. 
to set it up on my desk, I just put the wood piece down and then set the three cups inside. And it's perfect for me to set out my pencils and my pens and my scissors. Now for my scissors, I did DIY these as well. So I thought they'd be fun to paint them gold. So what I did for the scissors was I just took the scissors, used painter's tape and wrapped it around the metal part of my scissors. And then I sprayed it with two coats of that same metallic Rust-Oleum paint and then let it dry. And then all I had to do was take the painter's tape off. And now I have like really chic and cute scissors to sit out on my desk. I always like to keep little papers sitting out on my desk, so I knew I needed something to corral that. So I decided to use this napkin holder from Dollar Tree. Originally, it was silver. All I did was paint it that same metallic gold, and now I have it sitting out on my desk. It's perfect for bills, envelopes, you can even just put paper in there, whatever you like, but I think it's a great way to corral your paper. The next office supplies that I really like to use are binder clips. I use these all the time on my notebooks and also in my planner. So I just grabbed some regular binder clips. They were the larger kind at Dollar Tree that are like black and silver. And I painted those two coats of that same metallic spray paint. To give them a little bit of something extra, what I decided to do was take some washi tape and they have quite a few different options at Dollar Tree. I found this cute one that had little bow ties and it was black and gold so it fit my theme well. So I just cut off a little section. I wrapped it around the inside of my binder clip on one side. I did that for all of the binder clips and I think they're adorable. And I just have these sitting out in a pretty glass from Dollar Tree on my desk and they're gonna be perfect to use on my notebooks. And I also think they're just adorable sitting out. So Dollar Tree currently has out these little date blocks and they have them in several different styles. I really wanted it to be more simple than that. So I decided that I was gonna cut off the tree and the side. So I just used my rotary cutter and kind of sliced off the tree and the sides so that it was just a box to use with little blocks inside. To give it a little bit something extra, I had this black and white scrapbook paper. I believe it was from Joann's. I've had it for a while. I just kind of get a variety of scrapbook papers, keep them on hand. That way when I'm doing DIYs, I can just go pull what I need and I can just keep the creativity going. So what I decided to do with this, so I'm just going to use the hot glue to attach it. This is adorable sitting out on your desk. You can definitely change it depending on what the date is. If you missed the last DIY that I put out, I'm gonna link it here. You definitely wanna go watch that. And if you're new here, make sure you're subscribed. I post three DIYs each week. You don't wanna miss them. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. It helps me out. And I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.